Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I have a really fun morning movement practice for my fellow mamas. Now, my daughter Nettie is actually here with me. She's hanging out, eating her breakfast, and reading a book in the reading nook that her older sister created. Uh, she created the nook for herself, not for Nettie. But anyway, you don't need to know all of that. I'm mostly saying that to let you know that my toddler might actually make an appearance at some point. She might run in front of the screen because that's how life is for us mamas, particularly when we're trying to get this morning movement in. And this practice is one that you can do with kids running around, with kids trying to get involved. It's so quick and it's so powerful that it should make you feel really energized and just really strong when you're done because it fits all of it in. So let's get started. Let's take just, you know, a normal stance at the front of your mat. Just start to shake out a little bit. And this really is like what I do. Like if I don't have a lot of time, you can shake your shoulders. Oh yeah, shake them. My voice is shaking. <laughs> just shake them. Give your body a little shake. Maybe dance from side to side. Take your arms up, sweep them out to the side to get some jazz hands going. Those were not jazz hands, that looked terrible. Anyway, you get the idea, just shake the whole thing. Roll your shoulders. And when I, I'm really short on time, which is a lot of times, this is how I start. Just roll your shoulders forward and back. You can swing your arms in front of you, cross them. You can get a little groove going if you want. I mean, really, like, I often start my practice with dancing anyway. So if you want to get a little groove on, I've got a few more seconds of that. Swing one arm forward and back. You can take your body with you and then the other. Back and forward. Just give it a little movement just to warm up. <sighs> and then shake out your arms. Yeah, that was good breathing. Okay, take your legs wide. Turn your toes out. We'll start with some squats and then create a little movement, do a little flow. Then we're gonna end with a not so yoga movement. This is a movement practice, not just yoga. So keep that in mind. But wide legs, here we go. Hips go down, so knees bend, hips go up. Hips go down, hips go up. So this is a wide leg squat. Some people call it a sumo squat. That's what I usually call it, or a goddess squat, depending on the circles that you roll in, just hips go down, hips go up. Circles, that's right. Uh-huh, hips go down. Just a few more squats, and I really like to start with squats because they warm up everything really quickly. I can already feel my heart rate <laughs> getting up a little bit, getting a little sweaty. Hips go down, hips go up. And the next time your hips are down, keep them there. Just shift to the right, straighten your left leg. Back through center, shift to the left, straighten your right leg. Just a little bit. Right, through center and back. Just create a little bit of movement from side to side. And then next time you're at the right, right forearm to right thigh, left arm alongside your ear. And then turn towards your right leg, take both arms up. And then back through center, left forearm to left thigh, right arm alongside your ear, straighten your right leg. I know, and then turn towards your left leg, both arms up, back through center, right forearm to right thigh, left arm alongside your ear. Turn towards your right leg, left heel goes up, so you're in a lunge, both arms go up. One more time, over to the left, left forearm to left thigh, right arm alongside your ear. Turn towards your left leg, both arms go up, reach up. You're gonna come on back to center and then push into your right leg. Step your left leg behind your right, and you're going to come up to step at the top of your mat if you're using a mat facing, not toward me, facing away, because you're going to want to step back in your mat. I'm going to do this facing you so that you know what's going on, okay? Take your left leg behind your right, right hand to right thigh, left arm alongside your ear, and just stretch it out. You can even bring right hand to your left wrist or forearm and just give it a little pull. Try not to over arch. Right, stay back in your back body. So if you need more support, keep your right forearm at your, or hand at your thigh, okay? And then if you're holding onto your left forearm, put your right hand down on your right thigh, push into your right leg, pull your left knee up, take your elbow to knee, and then re-extend. Pull up, elbow to knee, 
re-extend. You're gonna do this a few more times. Pull up, elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull up, elbow to knee, re-extend. A few more times. Pull up, elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull up, elbow to knee, re-extend. And I'm just turning, you do not have to. Pull up, elbow to knee, re-extend. Last time, pull up, elbow to knee, and then extend your left leg back. Left arm forward, warrior three. And you can keep your right hand at your right thigh for more support if you like. Or take your right arm alongside your body, hand at your hip, whatever works. But tuck in, left elbow to left knee, re-extend. Tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. A few more, tuck in, elbow to knee, Re-extend, last one, tuck in, elbow to knee, hold it there. Reach for your left ankle with your left hand if you can. Dancer pose, stretch your left thigh up and back. Oh, I'm so glad the wall was there. <laughs> Dancer pose. Get a full breath in, full breath out, release your left leg, bend your right knee, step back. Triangle pose, oh yeah. Oh, might feel nice to be there. And again, your right hand might be on the floor like mine is. Your hand might be higher up. If you're feeling like, oh, I want like so much more challenge, you could lift both arms away from the floor and say, hello, core muscles. Oh, that tucking in wasn't enough. Hello a little bit more. So you can pick what kind of action you need. Lift the ball of your right foot up, bend your left knee, so shift to the left, turn towards your left leg. Place your right hand down. Right heel is up, come into a twist. Left arm up toward the sky. Take a full breath in here. Whew. Full breath out, now plant your right hand. Turn your whole body to the left. So you're in a kickstand version of Ashistasana. You can take your left arm alongside your ear. This might be enough. If it feels like too much, drop your right knee down. Stretch your left leg out so you're in like a version of gate pose. Otherwise, you could take your left foot behind you, do wild thing. Really push through your right leg to lift through your chest. Yeah. And then take that left leg, step it up again. Push your left hand into your left thigh. Step your right leg behind left and you come right back to where you started. And again, I'm gonna turn so that I'm facing the camera so you can see what's happening. But you will wanna turn and face toward that short edge of your mat so that you can step back. Okay, so lengthen. You can grab a hold of your right forearm with left hand if you want a little bit more action and keep your ribs moving back so you're not overarching and losing the connection to your core. Okay, now release your hand from your forearm. Push through your left leg, pull your right knee up, take your right elbow to your right knee and re-extend. So right foot goes down, right arm reaches up. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. A few more times. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. One more time. Pull in, elbow to knee. And then extend your right leg back, right arm forward. Okay, so you're in warrior three. And again, left hand can be on left thigh. You can take your arm alongside your ear. Hand to your hip. Okay, whatever feels good but tuck your right knee in towards your right elbow, and then re-extend back out. Tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Ooh, tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Tuck in, elbow to knee, re-extend. Two more, pull in, elbow to knee, re-extend. The last one, pull in, elbow to knee, and then reach for your right ankle. Take your right thigh back, your left leg is on fire. I know, mine is too. Dancer pose. Take a full breath in. Life is good, full breath out. Bend your left knee, step it back. Let go of your right foot as you do as you come into triangle pose. Oh, take a full breath in. Full breath out. And remember your options for triangle, good breathing. You could even lift your arms alongside your ears if you're like, I need so much more fire this morning. You can have your hand on your thigh or on the floor. Inhale here. Bend your right knee, shift over to the right. Okay, so ball of your left foot goes up, just shift over and then turn towards your right leg. Come into a twist, so left heel up, right arm up. Inhale fully. 
exhale completely, then plant your left hand, turn your whole body to the right, right arm alongside your ear so you could stay here or drop your left knee down, extend your right leg back, gate pose, or step it all the way over, wild thing. Take a full breath in, Get a full breath out, lift your right leg up, step it up, and then push yourself all the way up to stand. <sighs> Give yourself a shake, because the last thing that we're gonna do, last thing we're gonna do are squats with a kick. Okay, because we're right about at that 10 minute mark, and this is sort of where, okay, like I gotta wrap things up because she needs me, I can tell there's like, books piled on top of the avocado that I gave her. It's becoming a mess, so I gotta go handle that. So, <laughs> here's how it's gonna go. You're gonna squat down, push through your left leg, kick your right. Squat down, kick your left. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. You just keep going. And it feels like too much. Take the squat out. Oh, a diaper. If you can do the squat, add it for a little more power. Kick. Just give yourself that power in the morning. Squat, kick. We're gonna do it for just 10 more seconds. So we're almost at a minute. Do it a little less than a minute, but we're getting there. Okay. Almost there. And last kick. And that's it. And the last thing that you can do, you can shake out your legs a little bit. Shake out your arms. If you wanna just give yourself one more little release, you can interlace your fingers behind your back. Lift through your chest. I'm breathing hard, I love it. <laughs> Fold forward. And then one last little twist, left hand goes down, right arm goes up. Right hand goes down, keeping those legs wide, left arm up. Whew. Left hand down, push the your legs, coming up to stand, come on over here. See, that's my cue. See, did I call it? <laughs> that's my cue. I'm like right at, I think, 12 minutes, 12 and a half minutes, and we are done. So hopefully this gave you exactly what you needed to help start your morning with just some dynamic action to work your core, work your hips, tap into your power, and have a phenomenal day. So thanks for hanging out with me and Nettie. Oh, don't color in that book. Don't color in that book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotta go. See you next time. Thanks for being here. Bye, everyone. <laughs>